all right what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel it is friday i hope everybody's going to enjoy their weekend uh it is going to be really good weather down here in the south so i have that to look forward to so let's get on with the video i have some pretty devastating news that i'm not necessarily looking forward to sharing for us xbox people but you know as a long time xbox player i really want to talk about this so earlier this morning microsoft announced that xbox live gold is going to have a price hike and so you know as soon as i saw this i was not that excited uh, i don't think anybody is we are in the middle of a pandemic and xbox live is already i mean it's not expensive but like you don't want the price to go up even further six months of xbox live gold is now going to be 60 dollars, and that used to be the price of their 12 month subscription xbox also remains the only platform you need to buy a subscription in order to play free to play games including warzone and things like fortnite and apex legend and then we have a tweet from uh this guy jeff grubb who says that you know every few months xbox needs to do something to remind people that it's not that in touch with gamers or reality 120 dollars for a year of xbox live gold to bully people into buying xbox game pass is the latest example now i'm gonna be honest i'm not that in tune with the uh, gaming community these days so i don't know if xbox is or microsoft is doing things that uh are really anti-consumer or anything uh if anything i i kind of see that from sony but whatever i'm pretty i mean they're both corporations so they're gonna do really annoying things every now and then but this ain't it dog i mean just leave the price where it is the price is already good if anything they need to be allowing free to play games to be free without xbox live i mean so that's just mental and this is such a massive hike i mean 12 months used to be 60 dollars now for a year you need to pay twice as much so what is the problem i just i don't get it you know what let, let's go look at microsoft's uh, stock you know let, let, let's go take a look at their stock price you know right now let's let's check that out but i don't know you never know maybe, maybe microsoft is hurting in the stock market or something you know that's why they're trying to pull off this bs oh would you look at that microsoft has been doing pretty decent in the stock market it looks like they're doing their best well almost their best in the last six months i don't know maybe maybe they're trying to make up for something maybe they're overall trending down or something let's check out the next the last year or so oh would you look at that microsoft has been trending upward in the last year meaning so they've been doing really well for themselves they used to be worth like what 140 uh dollars per stock now it's about 230 almost so their stock prices are doing really well so i i just don't understand man like what are they so desperate for what are you acting so crazy for microsoft all right so it can't be their stock prices that they're trying to make up for or something maybe, maybe it's the executives or something you know saying maybe it's the ceo that of, of microsoft that's not doing so well let's check out what his pocketbook looks like oh would you look at that microsoft ceo saw his total compensation rise three percent to 44 million dollars during the company's fiscal year 2020 that ended in june and that's without the price hikes man what what happens if they start hiking and price up you know what I'm saying man this man's gonna be making what 50 million by next year or some shit i, I don't know what's going on this man is making 2.5 million dollars in actual salary 30 million dollars in stock awards and 11 million dollars in cash bonuses man what when am i gonna get a cash bonus you know at my job for that that's worth 11 million dollars and apparently this uh cash bonus is based on the board's review of the ceo's performance interesting what how do i get a 10 million dollar you know cash bonus man like what's going on here M maybe it's the other executives that aren't doing that well let's take a look all right so we got our main man the ceo the what was his name satya nadella I, I don't know what his name is man this man's making 2.5 million dollars 30 million in stock awards and then 11 million in bonuses so and then look at it says all other compensation is a hundred eleven thousand dollars so that's just like the cherry on top you know what i'm saying and then look at this man look look at the other executives look at the other executives man you kidding me all of these dudes are millionaires man they don't, and they probably don't even work harder than the actual people doing the engineering and stuff man all right so i i really don't understand what the deal is with microsoft i don't know why they're hiking the price for xbox live xbox live was already decently priced i mean i was really fine with the uh xbox live prices i really liked it i mean what are the benefits of this i mean all okay so it's gonna force people to try to get xbox game pass how about you make your xbox game pass more appealing instead of forcing them to you know move over to it by hiking the price of xbox live i mean whatever all right xbox game pass isn't it's not that bad so i'm not gonna talk too much trash about it but wait a minute hold on 
can we just take a look at this graph again Let, let's note that the poorest dude on here is uh margaret l johnson who's making nine million dollars a year all right man whatever i'm done with this graph these people are all millionaires they don't need any more money there's no reason to hike xbox live i don't care what anybody says i mean as i said man they need to at least just make the you know the free to play games free because i'm tired of paying for xbox live just to play you know apex legends or something even though i don't play that game on xbox i mean if anything they're just trying to make people get a pc man i mean you can get a pc and have a lot of the xbox features you know like xbox live and whatever except you know all you need to pay is your internet bill and that's it you get a free that that's your online that's your xbox live on pc i mean honestly it just doesn't make any sense at all but you know let's take a look at uh xbox game pass let's check out the uh the prices of that so we've got the console uh i guess this is i guess it only works on console or something i don't know all right so you can basically access you know over 100 high quality games you get a discount on uh i guess video games and other stuff but you don't get a discount on xbox live sir that's not for you you can't have it. we're giving you a price hike instead then we've got a, a pc uh i guess all right so it says access to over 100 high quality pc games so i think that means you get uh xbox players get to play pc games or something i don't know uh, you know it's whatever pretty cool you know it's ten dollars a month not too bad right now you've got the ultimate version which is basically i guess the best of both worlds all right so you get three months for 14.99 not bad not bad no wait a minute i misread that that says three months for one dollar from and then you gotta pay 15 bucks every single month. Now, three months of Xbox Live was $30. Or was that six months? Whatever, so the point is that Xbox Live as it currently stands before this price hike is much cheaper than this. I mean, I guess it's kind of worth it because they give you all these different games and they, you know, you have all these little perks and stuff like that. Like, ooh, partner offers. Thanks, man, that's, that's you know, I always wanted to pay $15 just to get partner offers, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, please give me more. But it also includes, you know, xbox live gold but again it's only for one month and that's 15 bucks every single month which is in my opinion that's a little steep 9.99 you know that 9.99 should just be the default price not 15 bucks just you know allow people to buy one month of gold man without xbox game pass you know what i'm saying because some people there's a lot of people that can only pay ten dollars as opposed to 15 you'd be shocked at how many people can only pay 10 instead of, i mean honestly i don't really care to get uh xbox game pass you know i just want to play my you know games online i just want to play xbox live and that's it man i don't really want to pay the extra five dollars for whatever else they're offering man it's their way of kind of like price gouging you they're trying to raise the price of something that you want so that you'll get something else that they want you to i mean it, I, it, I can see how it's a better deal but it's just not everybody wants to pay that extra five dollars a month just for whatever you guys want them to have like i don't know about you guys but i really just want to pay for xbox live not xbox game pass i just want to play online that's it and why 120 dollars a year man why such a massive hype i just don't get it like i don't understand why it's just it's 60 dollars for a year and you just add it on another 60 dollars and then you're like haha take that like why what is the benefit i don't get it fortnite is free on windows for fortnite is free on freaking the switch and playstation and my phone and everything else like why do i have to pay 120 dollars per year just to play online it sucks dude all right so maybe maybe this has something to do with the fact that you know microsoft took a risk with the xbox one or i'm sorry the xbox series s and the xbox series x and made them really powerful and then sold them for cheap because the xbox series s at least the series s is a beast console like it really is and it's only 399 so i don't know how much it costs them to make that thing maybe they put a lot of money into it and because of the pandemic and because they're short maybe they're bleeding money or something i don't know what the deal is okay all i know is that there's no xbox on the shelves in the store for like a month so maybe microsoft is just trying to make up for that money that lost money or something i don't know what is going on all i know is that i hope there's enough backlash to force microsoft to backtrack they need to repent okay they need to go they need to get some jesus water man and go repent you know what i'm saying and man i really hope there are no xbox fanboys that are defending this because there's no way you can defend it xbox live is not worth 120 dollars a year it's just not it's mental and if microsoft gets 
away with this? What if Sony gets in some kind of idea and it's like, oh, maybe we can hike our prices even if they don't go up to 120. What if they hike their prices up and they're like, oh, well, see, it's at least it's not worse than Microsoft. So it just sucks, man. I, I don't understand why Microsoft is doing this. It's ridiculous. Maybe Microsoft is bleeding money or something. I don't know what the deal is. But we looked at their stock profiles, you know what I'm saying? We, we already checked their stock market, you know what I'm saying? They're doing pretty well in the stock market. Their CEO is doing pretty well. You know, that dude's not going broke anytime soon. He's getting paid pretty well. You know, that's that dude is being stuffed like a pig. But yeah, this is overall really bad, I think. I don't think that Microsoft should raise the uh, price. I think it's totally ridiculous. I don't understand what the hell they're doing. They should at least, I don't know, tell us that they're going to do it. Anyways, guys, this is another reason to just get a PC, okay? I've got a beast PC. I've got, I just got a new graphics card recently. I mean, it's amazing having a PC to fall back on when your Xbox or when Microsoft or when Sony or whoever is acting stupid, it's always great to fall back on a PC. Like, I, I just don't understand, man. Like, what is the rationale behind raising the price for this, man? Maybe they're just a, maybe it's just simple and like, they're just a greedy corporation. They just want our money and they want to test the waters and see how much they can get away with. Who knows, man? Maybe prices in like 10 years will be up to like $200, you know, for Xbox Live and whatever else. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on but microsoft please i'm begging you you've got to lower the prices bro nobody wants to pay 120 dollars for your stinking xbox live okay i love you i've had an xbox for years i've got an xbox 360 right now i've got an xbox uh one x i've got you know i love xbox but you've got to stop doing this insane stuff because i don't want to pay i'm never gonna i'm not paying that okay i'm not paying 120 dollars per year for xbox live that's just not gonna happen bro i'll just i'll go some Somewhere else you know what i'm saying this is a great time to start shopping on g2a g2a sell stuff for just hella cheap man you can get three months for like 17 dollars so uh, you better do that before they raise the prices and then even g2a is probably going to end up raising their prices to compensate so yeah anyways this whole thing is a disaster all right i'm done raging okay thank you guys so much for watching be sure to leave a like rating subscribe please you must subscribe please let me know in the comment section what you think about xbox live raising their prices to 120 all right boys I'm out of here. Peace.